What's up guys, this is Fear with TGN FPS, and I've got another episode of Breaking Down Battlefield 3. This episode we'll be covering jets and their majestic ways. First off, I'm going to show you the loadout that I use and what will work well for you. I was testing out the belt speed, but the actual tier 1 you want to use is Air Radar. That'll give you the ability to see where the jets are and if they're trailing behind you. Maintenance is good, especially in hardcore mode you get that extra bit. Beam scanning does what it's supposed to do, it locks on targets faster, but I haven't been using guided rockets and I'll tell you about that later. Second tier, I've been working with infrared flares lately, but I used to use the extinguisher and uh, that's alright if you plan on getting hit, but you can dodge the rockets and use your flares and that way you won't even actually have to get hit by a rocket. And the ECM jammer, as far as I know, is pointless and does not work very well at all. Okay, tier 3. I chose the rocket pods because the guided missile takes two shots and you have to wait for it to lock on. With the rocket pods you can set up your target and shoot all the rockets and with a little help from your minigun, take out tanks in one strafe. Although heat seekers are a valid option, if you master the minigun on the jet you have no need for them and it just opens up another spot. Alright, first things first, the controls. And if you're on PC, I recommend using just the keyboard and how that works is you configure the WASD keys as your throttle keys and then you use your arrow keys as your pitch keys instead of the mouse which will make you a lot more agile in the air and uh, give you an advantage over your enemies. One of the most important things to know when you're flying is when to deploy your countermeasures, in this case flares. There's a beeping noise to let you know you're getting locked on. Next up is a solid beep which indicates they have locked on but have yet to fire. Next you will hear a fast ticking noise which tells you that they have fired upon you and now is the time to deploy your infrared flares. And if you listen to those indicators you will easily counter enemy missiles. Alright let's get into the flying. First off I'm going to show you something that's pretty much inevitable whenever you're flying is that something's gonna happen where you start on fire and if you're not equipped with the extinguishers basically you're gonna have to either do a landing or bail and I'm gonna tell you you don't really need a bail all the time especially when there's huge landing strips like this all you have to do is decelerate way down get low make sure you're stable and then you pretty much just float to the ground safe and sound even with that trickle of health that I have left I'm still able to jump out and heal it now this won't work all the time because there are some pilots out there who won't let a disabled pilot get away and they'll actually chase you down and shoot you which is what you should do. Alright so priority one when you're flying a jet is taking out the other jets and keeping the air clear of enemy vehicles. So at the beginning of the round you're gonna wanna sneak up behind the enemy jet you're gonna have to pick one and you're gonna have to pick the right one but you get behind him and if he doesn't line up in a straight line just leading him and figuring out where your bullets are is pretty easy. It's just a slight lead and also make sure even if you disable him to follow him and take him out. Doing this will prevent him from extinguishing his fire and catching you off guard. The second most important thing for you to do is to take out enemy helicopters. Now this can be hard but if you line them up in a straight line pulse your machine gun and you can take them out in one strafe just like that. The air radar is your best friend when you're flying a jet. This is a continuously scanning radar that points out enemy jets so you know what you're dealing with. If you keep an eye on that you'll know how to deal with the situation no matter what it brings and that you won't have people sneaking up on you. One environmental thing you'll have to worry about as a pilot is the air sailing. Some people think this is a good maneuver to fly straight up so that you get caught in there but the thing they don't realize is they're standing still for about four seconds before you reach them if you're right on their tail. Now see I got stuck in here and if someone was behind me that would not be good. But it is also a good way to trap your enemies. So when encountered with that situation take a look at your air radar and if there's no one behind you go ahead and pursue it. But if there is someone behind you you're going to have to be careful to not get caught in it. Okay so when pursuing tanks and other ground vehicles you want to find your target, do a straight line, go straight up in the air and do a nice roll back and spin and then start shooting rockets right at him. Now even though I hit him with a couple of rockets I did disable him so that gives you enough time to go ahead and do the same move right back at him. 
but if you line up your target better you'll be able to hit him easily in one strafing run. But it looks like this guy was unfortunate enough not to bring his wrench so he doesn't have a vehicle anymore. This last clip guys is a reminder uh, that you don't always need to bail out. Sometimes you'll get hit and you'll be able to land into a nice soft tree and glide right to safety. And you'll be able to heal yourself up because you're always going to be an engineer when you're flying. And then you can continue on being a ninja in the air. Alright guys, thanks for watching episode 4 of Breaking Down Battlefield 3 Jet Edition. If you like this, let me know in the comments below maybe some suggestions for future episodes. Also, this series is now an official show, so you can subscribe to it. That link will be in the description along with my channel page. But anyways, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.